Okay, so today I wanted to just take a, a moment, make a video about the essentials, what I would consider the essentials of what you need to uh, develop film at home. I develop film, black and white film, in my home all the time. It's pretty much what I like to do. It's the process that I enjoy. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. I keep all of this stuff nice and tight and compartmentalized and, and cleaned up. I don't have a dark room, a dedicated dark room space. So I like to have this stuff to where I can pull it out, do what I need to do, and put it away. It keeps everything nice and tidy and clean. So I keep my stuff under the sink. We've got an old Amazon box. This stuff fits in this box and that's where I keep it. it slides under and stays. This is a new thing for, for me to have it in the kitchen. I used to just keep it in the closet in the bedroom. That's fine. Wherever you keep it, make sure it's out of direct sunlight. It's not going to fluctuate in temperature very much. A closet or under the sink is always a good option. So the chemicals, I use uh, D76, Kodak D76. I make it a gallon at a time, which if you remember from our um, 1600, our Ilford 1600 video, I explained that I used the rest of the D76. So we're going to make more of that today. Um, I use a, this is Ilford brand, Ilfo Stop, and an Ilford Fix. You can use any kind of stop you want, any kind of fix you want, any kind of developer you want. In fact, I encourage you to experiment with different uh, developers. Maybe you'll find one that you like more than the other. Just as there are different characteristics to film, there are different characteristics to developers. So that's a fun thing to experiment with. So you just shot a roll of film, you take it out of the camera, and you use one of these. This is a changing bag, by the way. This is how you transfer the film from the roll, the cartridge, to the reel for chemical processing, for development. So I usually just take the bare essentials. I'll usually take a pair of scissors in the bag with me. I have a, a, a elementary school kid scissor so that I don't, you know, stab myself in the hand or poke, poke myself. And, um, and, and the roll of film, of course. And then we'll load it up onto the reel. And then there are the older style uh, metal tanks. I hate these tanks. You may have better luck with them, but I just can't ever seem to get film loaded on these things properly. I've got three or four of these, in fact. If somebody wants them, I may just mail them to you. That would be a relief for me to get rid of those things. And then some extra apparatuses. I have uh, two measuring beakers and a funnel. The funnel I use to put chemicals, reusable chemicals, back into their bottles. Um, you can't reuse developer, but you can reuse your stop and your fixer. Um, a couple of fun extra things. Let me see. Here we go. These are a couple of fun extra things. This is a film squeegee. I use this um, to pull the excess water off of the film strips before drying. It helps to expedite the drying process and helps prevent water spots and things like that from forming. And speaking of water spots, this is a fun little additive that you can get. I don't want to get too complicated with this stuff because this is all just fun extras, but it does help a little bit. Um, this is a wetting agent and a wetting agent, I'm going to get this all wrong, it's a wetting agent. Need I say more? <laughs> It'll make the water droplets come off the film and not dry on the film. Um, yeah, this is the basics. So I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a gallon of developer. So I'll just show you what I do when I make developer. It's pretty easy. Okay, so making D76. Step one: uh, 3,000 milliliters of water. Do that now. And three. Okay. So there's that. This calls to heat to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. This has been one of the 
coolest kitchen gadgets that I've ever bought. This cost me $5 at Ikea. It's a kitchen timer and a thermometer. What is this saying? You watch a pot, it doesn't boil. It's true. So we're at 122 as our marker. And we're way over. Let's do this. I'm just gonna pour this in. It does, it does kick up some dust, you know, a little bit of dust, so don't breathe that. You'll get kind of this opaque color. It'll just sort of look like watered down milk, which as Ron Swanson says is, is not actually milk. We're just gonna agitate and get all this chemical to, uh, to break down here. Okay, so we're pretty much there. Um, it's not very exciting. I mean, it goes from water to milky water to clear looking water again. Except now it has the potency and potential to develop some of the world's greatest photographs. Potentially. Do you know what I love about making these videos? Not only do I get to like uh, share some of the things that I like doing with you guys, but it also forces me to um, do things like clean, clean the sink out, you know, do the dishes and clean the sink so that I can make room for this stuff. So you guys are also helping me get my chores done. I posted this video once on my Instagram when I got a uh, water housing for my A6000. I posted a video testing it out in my bathtub. And we had all this problem with like the caulking around the tile and the edge of the tub. It was really moldy and nasty looking. And Jen was like, oh my God, I can't believe you posted that video with that nasty tub. And um, I knew she was right. I felt so bad that um, I went to Home Depot and uh, I bought a tool and caulk and all that and I, I ripped it all out and I redid all the caulking in the tub. So you guys are totally helping me like not live in such a shamble, shambled mess all the time, which is nice. Okay, we're just gonna add the 800 milliliters of water, which I'll just get right out of the tap here. So this is it. This is how you, that's how you make D76. I'm gonna clean up this bottle and then we'll, um, we'll have some concluding thoughts. Okay, so that's making D76. I know this is kind of a lengthy video, but I kind of want to vary uh, the content of the channel, just kind of making sure that we do some kind of segments that highlight other people, which I want to do, make sure you guys are um, checking out these great photographers that are shooting on film. Um, and this sort of more in-depth type of, you know, these types of tasks are so easy and can be easily Googled. So I kind of just want to take those opportunities to just kind of, I don't know, be a little more how I am and just chat to the camera as if you were hanging out with me. And um, I don't know, we'll try it out. So these videos may be a little bit longer in length, but you can always skip around or skip over them entirely if you like other segments on the channel. So um, as always though, I would really appreciate your guys' feedback, um, positive or constructive. I keep it civil. I have a very sensitive little uh, disposition, but um, I'd love some feedback on more stuff that you guys would like to see on the channel. So happy to oblige you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around.